What's doing people, it's your boy Lawman here and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having yourself a good day or evening wherever you are in the world. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. On this video today, I'm going to be showing you some of my key pickups from the months of January and February. And more importantly, I'm going to show you the first pair that I picked up for 2018. So without further ado, let's get into it right now. So, um, 2018. It's been a pretty crazy start for, for sneakers and all that kind of stuff. Um, there are some really cool pickups that I have picked up and there's two particular pairs which are not going to make this video but they will have their own separate videos later on in the piece. Mainly these two. But um, yeah, they're going to have their own videos and you'll see those uh, videos coming up on my channel very soon. However, I'm yet to show you the first pair that I picked up for 2018. So what could it be? What? actual sneaker could it be that I picked up first for 2018? Is it a Nike? Is it an Adidas? Is it Jordan brand? Actually it's none of those. It's actually this right here. It's a Puma and uh, this is a Puma suede, uh, the FUBU collab with Puma. Um, if a lot of people don't know, um, Puma is celebrating 50 years of the suede, of their iconic uh, suede silhouette in 2018 and they've teamed up with FUBU which is a American urban brand, uh, uh, clothing brand and I, back, a little background story, I used to wear FUBU back in the day, mainly fake FUBU um, in, uh, what's it called, in, uh, in, in high school, you know, so I used to have a, I used to buy the stuff from the, um, uh, from Parkley Markets, if you know where Parkley Markets here is in Sydney, or Paddy's Markets in Sydney, you know, the fake caps and the rugby polos and all that, but, you know, this is a legit pair <laughs> of um, Pumas. And um, and when they said they were doing this collab, I, I said to myself, yo, I might as well pick this up. And I actually picked this up um, after the Australia Day long weekend, so just at the end of January, I think it was like 27th or 28th of Jan, I picked this up. It is a, a UK 10, so it's a, a US 11. Um, so it's a Sway Classic um, X Fubu. Um, and you can look at the box. I mean, the box alone is really dope. Um, you know, you got the uh, Puma Sway 50 right here, and a bit of lighting issues, and you got the, uh, the Puma Sway and the uh, 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 Fubu 05 logo there. And it says here on the bottom, uh, the Puma Suede, a street legend, established 1968, reimagined by FUBU 2018. So that's what it says on the box right there. Um, you got the Puma Suede 50 in Boston Gold. You got the nice FUBU label right there. And you can see in, this, in the shine of the lighting, there is a uh, the, the Puma um, uh, logo right there. Yeah, FUBU 05, typical Puma, Puma sticker. Open up the box and. Um, Here is the shoe in question. Here it is, the Puma suede. Now, of course, being a Puma suede, it's got to be made out of nice suede material, and it is. Look how buttery. Look how. Look at the butteriness, the feel of the, uh, the suede. Um, let's get into the shoes in, in in detail. Of course, on the tongue right here, you've got the Puma and the Fubu 05 logo there. Now you'll notice with the laces, you've got some black red and white stripe if I actually pull the laces out you get a set of laces of black white and red set and it happens on both sides of shoes and if you put and then you look at the aglets you got the white shoe the white has got the um, black aglet red's got a black aglet and the black shoelace if I can find the end of one has got the I'm trying to find it that's the black one. And yeah, there it is. And you can just see it right there. It, the, the black shoelace has got the red aglet right there. So, you know, so it comes with three sets of laces. You can really flip up the laces and change it up. In the inside of the shoe, um, someone messaging me right there. In the inside of the shoe, you can actually see uh, the, it's a pleather uh, insole with the gold Puma and the FUBU um, logos right in there. And inside, it's got this really nice blue style um, insole uh, lining uh, on the tongue as well, as well as on the on the insole right here, on the in, in the in the inner lining here. Um, of course, you've got your typical uh, Puma midsole, 
um, an all red bottom, which is really cool. Um, I've, as I said, this is a really, really dope shoe. It's got them on the rear. You've got the Puma embossed, the FUBU logo and the Puma <laughs> logo embossed there. As I said, uh, this retailed in Australia for 110 and I actually got a discount for this particular shoe. I think I only got this for 99 bucks, so I got this 10% off. So again, really a cheap pickup, but a good pickup. Um, and for me personally, it's something that I'm just flipping the script on. Something a bit different, but you know, a bit nostalgic, but also, you know, it's good to sort of start to change your change an outlook of, of different pairs. So that is the Puma class, uh, Puma Suede Fubu collab in the black and red. Now, next um, key items uh, that I picked up was from when I was in Melbourne. Uh, during the first week uh, weekend of uh, February. Um, I did stop by the sneaker laundry and I did pick up some purchases. I picked up, no, I just restocked a couple of things. I uh, restocked, I got two cans of their sneaker protective, which is really good stuff, um, you know, and I'll leave the link uh, down below in the description where you can p purchase this stuff. Really good stuff, I really recommend it. It's actually pretty good um, sneaker protector. Uh, and also, they gave me this little secret bottle right here. Oops. This little secret bottle right here, which is the actual stain remover. At the time, um, they were just putting the labels together, and I believe the product will be available soon um, from their store. So make sure you watch out and uh, check it out. But this is their stain remover. Um, it does smell like lemons. It does, it does smell like lemons, and it smells a bit different. But yeah, this is their stain remover that they've got. Um, doesn't have the label, but it's just a bit of a hookup that they gave me so yeah again shout out to the crew at sneaker laundry i will plug their uh details down below and make sure you support local and you support um uh, local businesses like i do sneaker laundry in melbourne make sure you check them out then on the sunday of course i was um at saint side and um and i, I went and checked out saint side day and as always you know i always love to pick up their their stuff that they have there and um yeah, you, you, they always come up with really cool stuff, as always. Um, first things first, they have this, their, their stickers as well. So they got the like, same side performance parts sticker right there. I've actually got two of those. Uh, you know, a Harley Davidson ripoff sticker. <laughs> and this is a sticker that I really, really like. This is the, the same side Gatorade sticker, which I actually got some of the product. And I really wish they did this on a, on a shirt. I would so pick up the shirt as well. But, this is really dope. This is really cool. Um, I always love their stickers. They always just do, um, you know, just really cool stuff. And then to the actual product themselves, um, picked up one of these shirts, um, which is one of the shirts I really wanted to get and I haven't had a chance to pick up until now. This is the Saint Side Nokia T or the Saint Side Connecting People um, T shirt. Um, which they released, I think, uh, late uh, or midway through last year, or midway or late through last year. And yeah, it's a navy blue shirt with the print, the same side um, uh, um, Nokia look, look and feel on the front, and then the same side uh, connected people on the rear. So, really, another cool shirt to have in the collection and to add on to the multitudes of, of, of Saint Size shirts I have. There's a couple more shirts that I wanted to show you as well, which I've got here. And they're still in their plastics. They're still fresh. I, I, I haven't undied them, so let's crack them out. I don't undied them any, one way or the other. And these are the event t-shirts. So this is the, the, the event only black and infrared, um, active and agile at the front. But the rear is what's the Flago. The Saint Side um, neighborhood shootout, highly sponsored by, and you look at all the all the various uh, um, logo rips that they don't that they have, and then at the bottom is those we don't miss, and they don't miss at all. They really smashed it out of the ballpark with this shirt. Um, so yeah, so this is the infrared colorway, and I, I don't know if the lighting's giving it any justice, but yeah, it, it is an infrared colorway, so you can rock it with your infrared um, J's, whatever it is, the sixes, you know, any red pair of sneakers, it would go really sweet with that. Also, not with this colorway, but I also got a second colorway. Well, I'm cracking the bag right now. 
this one right here it is a purple again the lighting is not giving it any justice um, I might color grade it so a thing and it's a bolt printing at agile and active and then the shirt again and all its glory this is an XL uh, so it's just a tad smaller uh, but I, I can rock the XL but this is so dope I really really love the fact that they did this particular style of, uh, of shirt for their for the event and yeah shout outs to the crew at Saint side you guys are just awesome and I really enjoyed myself at the Trail and Shine uh, this year and more than likely for 2019 I will return to check the event out because it'll be the 10 year anniversary of it and yeah it was just fun to attend fun to do hang out with people and you know just chill with the good people at Saint side and finally, um, I've got this particular Nike bag here. And um, inside here, it's something that, um, you know, for you basketball heads and all the, and jersey head guys out there um, wanting to, um, you know, collect the Nike jerseys. This is actually my second Nike jersey, um, NBA jersey for this season. And it is the, the Land Cleveland Cavaliers City jersey, LeBron James on the rear. Actually, uh, I was walking through um, uh, Nike yesterday, and I actually saw the the the, <laughs> the Isaiah Thomas jersey. I'm going, really? Why did you make an Isaiah Thomas jersey? You should just, you know, trash it already. But um, this is the city jersey. This is the uh, this is the fourth uh, uh, jersey that the, uh, Nike has produced for for all teams, most teams. Um, so you know, you got the so. On the back, you've got James, number 23. It's the new lettering and numbering that they have for for uh, for Cleveland. On the front, it says the land. Now, if you're a Cleveland head like I am, or Cleveland bandwagoner uh, for some, so, so I'm not offending those uh, Golden State bandwagoners, um, you know, the land is, is, is normally referred to Cleveland. Short on it up, the land, especially known as that. And, you know, they call this jersey the land which is really cool I don't, I don't mind that and got the 23 on the side a cool feature of this jersey and and, and I, I really dig it is on the side here you got the Cleveland logo right here the Cleveland basketball with the C and the and the basketball emblem right there and then you actually if, I don't know if the line if I can get the line just right there you go yeah as you can see there is like this fine print like tie track printing there on the side right there which is really cool and um, yeah, this cost the Swingman jerseys in Australia cost 100 Australian dollars. Um, this is my second jersey. I do have the statement jersey, which you've probably seen me wear. You may have seen me wear in other uh, other um, things, but I'll I'll show you that maybe in another video. I might do a, a, a NBA jersey video or something like that. But yeah, um, I this is the second jersey out of many that I really like, and yeah, I picked this up, and yeah, I'm really happy that I got it. Now that the Cleveland Cavaliers are starting to win again, and they got virtually a brand new team. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the NBA jersey, statement jersey, swingman, LeBron James, the land, and uh, yeah, that's that's it from that thing right there. So there you have it, folks. That's all the key pickups that I have for January and February 2018. As I said, there's two more videos and two more pickups that I will be showing you guys on separate videos. So make sure you stay tuned into that. So this will end this video. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you like this content, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think is your favorite piece that I picked up that I got to show you uh, in this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to organically grow this channel to you know to be reputable, and uh, and I want to continue to, to do videos and and um, yeah. If you if you subscribe, that'll be awesome. If you hit like or dislike the thumbs up thumbs down I don't mind either way it shows me that you that you are interested and you do like the content or you don't like the content also comment down below and hit, also hit the uh, the alert bell that will actually alert you of any video that I drop anytime any place in the world so without further ado I'm gonna end this video thanks so much for tuning in and watching it's your boy lawman here continue to cop stock and i got to do it with the shoe. Cop, stock, and rock your kicks. And I'll see you on another video, kids. Until then, I'm out of here. Peace.